so some of the first people who wrote about the cross, and specifically Jesus, this first century Jewish revolutionary rabbi who was crucified on a cross, the first people who wrote about it said, this cross is a sign and a symbol. It is a living, breathing demonstration of God reconciling to God's self all things. Now, the all things there isn't like some things, it's all things. So the first people who actually reflected on this cross said, this story of this crucifixion is about all the things that are split and divided and unreconciled being brought back together in proper, peaceful relationship. So, how do we think about this cross? Well, the story is about somebody who endures the worst that a human being can endure, and that pain and suffering becomes the channel through which God's healing love flows to all of humanity. You know what they're essentially saying? And if you have a problem with the God word or these conceptions of the divine or theism, etc., perhaps you could say it simply like this. What they were saying is the universe wants you to be whole. The universe is bent towards you being at peace with every aspect of your past. The universe is rigged on your behalf, in your favor, that you might have all of the parts in their proper place. Now, when we talk about being reconciled to you. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsalmon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence.